There we go. Fish on. Oh, nice fish. What in the world are we hooked into? What is that? What's going on everybody? Nick from 6 8 Fishing here and welcome back to another fishing adventure. Fishing has been incredibly tough lately, so today I am changing things up. I am heading to a spot that I have not been to in nearly two years. I've caught some decent fish there, but it's been a while since my last visit. We're heading out there today. Hopefully we'll be able to catch some nice fish. I gotta get loose sometimes. Good and bad news. The good news is we have made it to the spillway. The bad news is there is absolutely no water flowing through it. I have learned not to judge fishing spots by how they appear. So let's go ahead and get started. And hopefully there are some big fish hiding out there beneath the surface. I have never had trouble with catching fresh bait at this spillway but it has never been this stagnant. So I'm hoping we'll still be able to catch some fresh bait. Because of that, I brought night crawlers. Along with the night crawlers, I brought some frozen bacon that I used on my last fishing adventure. I did not have any luck with it, but I'm not ready to give up hope on it quite yet. And I also brought some frozen cut bait. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, I've got a couple pieces of frozen cut bait rigged up on this rod. Let's go ahead and toss it out there. There's a take, you guys. Sling has this bait. <laughs> all right. Well, that did not take long at all. We caught our first fish of the day, and it is a green sunfish. This is a great sign. If these guys are living out there, there could be some much larger predators living out there as well. I'm going to go ahead and keep this guy to use for bait. Fishing has been tough. I've yet to have any bites on my bigger rods. I went ahead and moved over closer to where the water spills into the spillway, if there was water spilling for that matter. But let's go ahead and toss the bait out here. Here we go, fish on. And it is yet another really nice sized green sunfish. See you later, buddy. I'm not saying there are no big fish out there living in this spillway, but they have yet to touch any of my bigger baits. So I think it is time to do a little exploring downstream. Now, unfortunately, as you guys can tell, it is very shallow, but according to Google Earth, there are some really promising looking spots a little bit further downstream. So let's go ahead and try to get to those. I'm a rolling stone, bound to roam. Come on, or I'll be gone. I have walked downstream quite a ways. So let's go ahead, toss a bait out, and see if there are any big fish living out here beneath the surface. All right, guys, there's a bite. There we go, fish on. And I cannot seem to get away from these green sunfish. They are everywhere in this creek. See you later, buddy. It is time to head to a different spot entirely. Don't get me wrong, this first spot was full of life, but all of that life seemingly consisted of small green sunfish, and the goal for today is to catch a decent sized fish. The spot that we are heading to now is nearly an hour from our first location, and it is a spillway that I have not fished at in quite some time. Hopefully, we'll be able to turn the day around there. Okay. And we have made it to spillway number two. First thing I've noticed is that there is a tackle box sitting right here on the ledge. And there's actually quite a bit of tackle in there. Somebody obviously forgot this, so I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that alone. Let's get down there and start fishing. First impressions of this spillway are not great. It is just as stagnant as that first spot, but I believe this spillway to be quite a bit deeper, so I think there still could be some big fish hiding out there. Let's toss some baits out. Here we go, fish on. And our first catch from this spillway, you guys will never guess it, it's a green sunfish. See you later, buddy. We've been here for a little while, and so far, all we have been able to catch 
our tiny little green sunfish. Nothing has touched either of my big baits. I think it's time to go to yet another spot. Although it has not proven to be successful, we are keeping the theme of traveling to my least visited spillways alive. This next spot I have not been to in over two years. City lights will blind your eyes. Spot number three, just like the first two locations, unfortunately there is zero water flowing through this spillway. And on top of that, I'm actually seeing some floating dead fish, which is probably not going to be a good thing. I'm trying to stay optimistic. There we go, fish on. Oh, this feels like a decent fish. No way, you guys. I believe this is a new species for me. I've caught bullhead in the past, but I believe this is a black bullhead. All the bullhead that I've caught have been yellow bullhead. Awesome. See you later, buddy. Hundreds of miles of driving, three different fishing locations, hours of fishing, and we were finally able to catch our first fish. That was not a green sunfish. I will take that. And I believe that was a new species for me. I cannot wait to see what we hook into next. There we go. Fish on. Fish on, fish on. Oh my gosh. No way. We just caught another species of fish. This is not a bullhead. We just caught a little channel catfish. So cool. See you later, buddy. So far, this third spot has proved to be infinitely better than those first two locations. And that's funny because it actually looks the least promising. I'm seeing a ton of floating dead fish out there, but apparently there are some nice fish hiding out there beneath the surface. I cannot wait to see what we hook into next. There we go, fish on. Oh, nice fish. No way. Holy cow. I am in shock right now. I cannot believe this. Another channel catfish. This is crazy. See you later, buddy. This spot is wild. When I first saw it, I thought I'd be lucky to pull a fish out of it. Not only have I caught some fish, but I've caught three decent little catfish. So crazy. Up until this point, I've caught all of these fish using a weightless night crawler. Let's go ahead and toss out a piece of green sunfish to see if we can maybe catch an even bigger one. Fish up. Oh, another decent fish. What in the world are we hooked into? What is that? No way! You guys, we just caught a really decent freshwater drum. I cannot believe this right now. Species number four living in this stagnant spillway. See you later, buddy. Fish on! Holy smokes, you guys. It has been a while since a spillway has surprised me as much as this one has surprised me today. There is an incredible amount of decent sized fish out there living in this puddle and it is mind blowing. See you later, buddy. What a crazy day of fishing. We traveled to three different spillways today, all of which I have not been to in a very long time. But this third spot to the spillway that I've not been to in over two years surprised me more than any spillway in the past. I cannot believe how many fish, decently sized fish, are living in this stagnant spillway. My mind is blown. Needless to say, I had a lot of fun today. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I'd really appreciate it if you the thumbs up, possibly think about subscribing. If you haven't, I will catch you guys on the next one. have been incredibly tough lately so today i am changing things up i'm heading to a spot that i have not been to in nearly two years
The spot that we are heading to now is nearly an hour from our first location, and it is a spillway that I have not fished at in quite some time. Although it has not proven to be successful, we are keeping the theme of traveling to my least visited spillways alive. This next spot I have not been to in over two years.